Well, we kind of got a pet-themed episode going on this week. Um, so I'm really honored to introduce uh, my pet first. Um, his name is Templeton. Uh, he is 12 days old. He mostly shits himself, and I'm not quite sure how to feed him yet, but uh, I'm working on that. Is that Tamagotchi? It, 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 it is, yes. I'm not sure what breed. The pixels don't really make it quite clear. Anyways. Animals, and more specifically pets, have been involved in sports since shortly after the Big Bang. For more recent events, such as the Puppy Bowl and Golden Retrievers playing basketball, back through the annals of time to such events as jousting and polo, all the way back to caveman time, where we had Velociraptor Volleyball, and the slightly less successful Man vs. Mammoth Marathon. <laughs> Ditto. Anthropologists have taken great strides recently to connect animals and humans in sport throughout history. For example, Suleiman the Magnificent of the Ottoman Empire not only mastered the design of comfortable footrests, but is also credited as the father of golf, using a mallet to knock struggling gerbils, gerbils into various burrows. <laughs> did you think baseball was an American invention and institution? If you did, you'd be like one of those people who see white and gold. You'd be wrong. <laughs> baseball originates in northern Mexico and featured chinchillas running to their puppies who awaited at the upcoming base, coaxing it with a combination of berries and tequila. <laughs> If the chinchilla stumbled around bases unos dos tres and passed home placa without passing out, a run would be scored for the handler's team. However, hitting a small ball with a clothespin proved rather difficult for the furry players and were eventually replaced by their mustachioed counterparts. <laughs> the, although the game did evolve uh, several steps further, tequila remained in the game for several more decades. <laughs> Enough with the historical side of this symbiotic sports miracle, and on to more current uh, animal sporting news. This week saw the yearly Llama Association of Arizona street race, where a meager two contestants managed to find their way to the start line. <laughs> Undeterred, photographers and aerial video alike helped thousands stay glued to their couches to see who came out the winner. In the end, disappointment was shared by viewers and llamas alike as three hooligans took to the course and ran off with both contestants. <laughs> in non-pet related sports, the Flames won two of three games this week and remain back on the happy side of the playoffs. <laughs> Calgary Hitmen have now won eight of their last nine and are currently six and one on a 11 game road trip and are firmly within a playoff spot in the WHL. And at the Briar in town here, Alberta sits middle of the pack with a record of 3-3, three and three, while Northern Ontario got their rocks off to a perfect 8-0 and start. And that is this week in sports. I didn't know you spoke Spanish. Yeah, I don't know if those were. I've never heard any of those things. I don't know if those were true or not. 